All right, what's up guys? Today we're back with another video. Today we're gonna to be doing a PSA mail day. I think this is our second one. So we got a stack of cards here that we've uh, gotten graded. And uh, let's see what we get. I'm just gonna start with the top one, flip it over, hide the grade, show you the card, and uh, then reveal the grade. So the first one here is a red George Pickens out of 2022 Donruss Elite. It's numbered six out of 399, and this one got a 10. So not too bad for uh, for the PC there. Moving on. We got a 2022 Select Draft Picks Kenny Pickett Silver Prism. And this one also got a 10. I know it's collegiate, but still a PC card nonetheless. All right, next card here is 2021 Panini Donruss Optic Najee Hollow Variation. This one also scored a 10. So we're doing pretty well. We're three for three on 10s. All right. Next one here is a 2021 Prism Travis Etienne Jr. Laser Prism. Also scored a 10. And then we have a 2022 score... Garrett Wilson, uh, gold. I think this one came out of a retail blaster box. This one also scored a 10. So, so far we're five for five on 10s. Let's see if we can keep the, the roll going here. All right, we got 2021 Donruss Optic Pat Fryermuth Hollow Variation. So this one goes with the Najee and it also scored a 10. So not too bad there so far, six, six for 10s. And then we have a 2022 Panini National Kenny Pickett Rookies card. I believe this one is numbered on the back. I don't remember. I think it's out of 499. This one also scored a 10. Yeah, 286 out of 499. So seven for seven on tens. Hopefully we keep going with the, the good luck here. All right, we got a 2022 score of DeMarvin Leal Gold Zone. This is number four out of 50. Oh, our first nine. Not too bad, though. With that hollow flow, that was probably hard to, to 10 and the corners as well, I can tell. Um, but a nine is still mint. So we'll keep our tens there and we'll put our nines and less over here. Well, hopefully just nines, nothing less than a nine. All right, we got 2021 Donruss Optic Trevor Lawrence. This is just the base card and it also scored a nine. And then we have 2021 Donruss, just regular, not optic, of a Justin Fields, and it scored a 10. I think this is our only baseball card out of the bunch. We got a 2022 Topps Chrome Wander Franco 1987 Topps Baseball Edition, 35th anniversary, and it scored a 9. All right, we have a 2010 Topps Marquise Pouncey rookie card. And it scored a nine. The line just hasn't been the same since he retired. All right, we got 2021 Donruss Optic Justin Fields, just the base, and it scored a nine. And then we have 2022 score football George Pickens scorecard. Scorecard just has the gray border. And this one scored a 10. So... So far, the 10s are outweighing the less than 10s. Oh, this one's nice. We got 2021 Select Pat Fryer with White Prism. I believe this is out of 35. And it scored a 10. Wow. Yeah, 4 out of 35. That's a nice card right there. All right, moving on. We have a 2022 Score Kenny Pickett base card. It's rookie, and it scored a 9. Oh, that's disappointing. Not sure why it got a 9. But nonetheless, still mint. All right, so these last two were some of the bigger hits that we've gotten in some of our openings. Um, the first one is a Cave on Thibodeau out of 2022 Origins Pink, and it's number 2 out of 3. Um, this is a thicker card, so I'm not expecting a 10, but uh, let's see if we can at least get a 9. We got a 9. So, Kayvon Thibodeau, 2 out of 3, scored us a 9. And then the last one here is probably the biggest card 
we've opened on the channel. Um, it's 2022 certified Brees Hall RPA gold etching. So this is the first off the line and it's numbered. I don't know if you can tell there. It's three out of five for the gold and this scored us a nine. So that's, that's not bad at all. Nine RPA on Breesaw. It was unfortunate. I think we opened this card right after he went down with his season ending injury. So hopefully he comes back strong for the season. Keep this card value up. All right. So if we compare the two stacks, even though there's two cards on the top are thick, I think we scored more tens than we did not tens. And we got at least nines on everything. No eights. So that's definitely a good turnaround. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.